Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice with CostelloWellness.com, and today we're going to talk about my 30-day follow-up on Garcinia Cambogia, the new Wonder Supplement, which is supposed to burn body fat and lose weight effortlessly, and the short answer is it did not work at all. So I went ahead and did an objective 30-day uh, study on just myself, trial of one, and we, I monitored cholesterol before and after um, HDL, LDL, insulin levels, so Cambogia is supposed to decrease body fat in your visceral organs, and which would make you less insulin resistant and lower that. Um, I measured weight, body fat, and took before and after pictures. So number one, cholesterol at the end of 30 days was up 16 points. That's a negative. HDL cholesterol went up two points. That's good. So I'm going to give you one plus for that. Maybe it was the uh, supplement, maybe not. LDL, bad cholesterol, up 16 points, definitely negative. My insulin level went from four to six, so that's a two-point rise, very mild number, two points, or a 50% increase in it, which means that I perhaps was slightly more insulin resistant, definitely not less insulin resistant. That's a negative as well. My weight went down about a pound and a half almost right away, likely a diuretic effect. Most weight loss drugs that cause immediate weight loss are diuretics, and you're losing water weight. My body fat did not change through the entire um, 30 days. In fact, when I stopped the medication, my body fat actually went down, which is likely related to the fact that the diuretic effect was now gone and my body was better hydrated, so I showed up as less fat or more lean on my scale. So my weight did not go down by even one pound. That's a loss of body fat, either unchanged or actually slightly better off of the medication. So that's a negative. Uh, lastly, very subjective, my appearance I took before and after pictures. I did not see any difference at all. I wasn't any leaner, any more cut or more vascular at the gym. So no change in physical appearance also a negative. So other than a two-point rise in my HDL, I have no objective or subjective evidence that Garcinia Cambogia works. I took it exactly as directed, 1,500 milligrams, a larger dose, twice a day, one half hour before my largest meal, and after exercise, I did not miss one dose the entire one month. So I'm going to officially call Garcinia Cambogia the heist of the century, uh, the market employee of the new millennium. I see it everywhere from Dr. Oz uh, touting its benefits, and I wonder if Dr. Oz received compensation for this. Um, it shows up on my Facebook. It shows up on my ribbon on top of my um, emails. It shows up on my browser, so either Google knows me because I, I did an internet search or it's everywhere. Don't waste your money on Garcinia Cambogia. It's a bust. Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.